Well, you may remember in uh, Gyeongju there were a lot of tombs from the Shila kingdoms. Shila kingdom, excuse me. And uh, here, not far from where I live now, is uh, another set of tombs. A king, well, two kings, uh, the, the father and son, and their wives are buried up here in traditional mounds. Royal tombs of the Joseon dynasty. The Joseon dynasty was the last dynasty of the Korean kingdom uh, before the Japanese invaded and uh, well what they tried to do was uh, marry the, the uh, Korean royal family into the Japanese royal family. Um, of course a lot of Koreans did not approve of that, didn't like that. So there is, uh, I think there is somebody in Japan who could make a claim on the throne of Korea but there is also uh, a Korean uh, who is the pretender, who is considered the, the true pretender to the Korean throne if, if Korea ever decides to return to the monarchy. Anyway, I'm not going to go in there right today. I am geocaching. I want to find... There are two geocaches relatively, relatively close to where I live. Five and six kilometers, respectively. I was going to ride my bicycle, but there's something wrong with my front tire. It will not hold air, so the tube must be um, breached somehow. And I have to find a place that sells that size bike tube, tire tube. Anyway, this uh, should be interesting. I think I got another two or three kilometers to go to find the first one. Let's get going then. I don't know what to say. Um, I finally had to look at the hint. The hint is magnetic behind under, I think is what it said. The zero is right right here, but of course that could be uh, you know could be off several meters. Um, there were no hints in the logs, which there shouldn't be really. Um, the photos were about this whole area. They weren't particularly about the cache. What is it with people taking pictures of the log sheet? I never get, why would you take a picture of the log sheet? Anyway, um, there's nothing, there's nothing magnetic under this at all. It's not even, they got nails of course, but that's about it. Um, that bench, there's nothing under there. This thing, I don't know what it is, but uh, there's nothing on it. There's nothing magnetic under here. But this is the only thing, well, besides the picnic table, but I've scoured that. I was thinking it could be in there. I didn't bring my flashlight, of course. Um, but this thing won't budge. I've tried to lift that. I, I, I dug the, the uh, pine needles and stuff out of there, but it still will not budge. So if it's in there, it's inaccessible. Doesn't look too safe anyway <laughs> with that wire. Isn't that weird? Why is that wire coming out from there? I don't know. I might post it as a DNF. Because I, I have an appointment. I can't just, I can't be doing this all day. I have an appointment at 3 and I'm on foot. So I can't really spend a lot of time. There's, that's, honest to God. That picnic table and that lamppost are the only magnetic items that would be within a reasonable distance of the, uh, the zero point, which is right there. Well, I spent 
way too much time up here looking for this thing. I found a better place that it could have been hidden. Um, if it is in the base of that lamppost, I can't, I can't budge the base off. But this lamppost over there, that base comes up you know, fairly easily too. So it would have been a great place to put it. But there is a uh, closed circuit television monitoring thing there. I'm not sure if anybody's actually monitoring, but they could be. Somebody could have been watching me. So, everything that is possibly magnetic, I have touched. I'm certain of it. <laughs> so, I'm posting it as a DNF. And I'm telling the owner where I thought it was and uh, he can judge that I was off base and he can just ignore it but if, um, if that's where it is and I couldn't budge the base off then he can come and uh, work on it maybe I don't know I'm not saying make it easy but it is but it is listed as a, as a difficulty one so it's kind of embarrassing. I think it's a difficulty one or a one and a half or something like that. Oh well. well, let's uh, let's talk about this place. Why am I? Why, why is the cash here? All right. In November of 1966, uh, President Johnson was here at this spot. Apparently, he dedicated the uh, memorial here or something I don't know what but I'll show you the memorial it might have that might have been the reason the president was here to dedicate this monument um, or to set that stone I don't know well this monument uh, it's written only in Korean and it's it's a little over my head to understand what it's talking about but uh, these are apparently uh, Korean soldiers and a sailor and that's a Korean flag behind them um, Why was President Johnson here? I'm gonna have to go on Google maybe and look up Johnson Hill to find out but uh, I can imagine considering the location uh, This this all fell to the North Koreans early on and there were probably some really fierce battles around here. When I lived down in Gyeongju, I don't think Gyeongju ever fell to the North Koreans. There was a, like that corner, that southeast corner of, of the Korean Peninsula, I don't think ever uh, came under the control of the North. This, this definitely was under the control of the North Koreans for maybe twice, but you know, long enough that there would have been a lot of uh, fighting to push them out, to get them out. Anyway, um, I can't find that cache, if it's still there. It's no telling. There is another cache about a kilometer and a half from here, and I'm looking out in that direction, and um, it doesn't look like it's easy to walk to. I, I would need, I'd need my motorcycle to get there. So this was kind of a, a bust, but it was a, it was a good walk, good exercise. So I'm not bitching really. I'm kind of disappointed. I thought I would find my first cache from up in my new area, but no, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to hide a few caches and show them how it's done. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, I, I did I did want to mention uh, one thing. Um, I'm back on uh, webcam. I used to have a, a, a Cameraids webcam. Then they changed everything, and I stopped. And So I've got a webcam back. It's not, it's not the one I had before, a webcam site. Uh, I'll put the link here, uh, probably on the video, maybe in the description, too. 
I'm not always on webcam, but sometimes when I'm goofing off on the Xbox or playing with the cats or, or something like that, I'll turn the webcam on and uh, I think you can chat on it or you can just uh, watch me. Anyway, just thought I'd, just thought I'd throw that out there in case you were interested. <laughs>